Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm Scott Burns and your host, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going to go out to the Windy City in Chicago, uh, maybe more specifically out to Springfield, Missouri in a prison medical hospital. Uh, we're talking about Fat Mike Sarno, Big Mike Sarno, the large guy, uh, you know, acting boss of the Chicago Mafia for for you mob watchers out there, uh, ran the family from 2005 to 2010 on the street, uh, has been locked up doing a um, 25 year sentence on a extortion racketeering conviction where he was found guilty at trial in 2010. I've reported that in his five years as, uh, as acting boss, he made a batch of, at that time, really young guys uh, from Cicero, some from Elmwood Park, I believe, that were just only loyal to him. Uh, maybe two, two dozen guys, maybe. Um, these guys are now in their you know, 40s and 50s, uh, and they are the future of the outfit. Uh, and from what I'm hearing from sources, we kind of thought that uh, Mike Sarno was maybe a thing of the past in the outfit, and I'm hearing that he is very much a thing of the present and the future that Sarno uh, from behind bars is counseling these protégés of his in Cicero. Um, his boots on the ground, as everybody knows, uh, his longtime underboss, right-hand man, Salvatore, Sammy Cards, uh, Catadella is the underboss right now uh, to Sally D, who's the, who's the Don. Uh, Sally is, you know, I, I would guess is either going to be uh, retired or possibly dead uh, in eight years from now when Mike Sarno comes out. But Mike Sarno himself will only be in his early 70s. I think as of right now, it's being planned that Mike Sarno, if he comes out uh, and is of health, will become the, the overall uh, Don of the Chicago mob. Uh, Chicago mob. Uh, I know his attorneys push back on the notion that he is uh, even in good enough health to, to continue serving his prison time. They've been trying to get a medical uh, compassionate uh, release or, or sentence um, shortening over the last couple of years, claim that he's you know, in a wheelchair, he's down to like 180 pounds or something, um, and is you know has a variety of ailments that, that make him um, unfit to serve a uh, prison sentence. So I'm guessing if you talk to them, they would say there's no way that he is a chiming in on anything uh, mob related uh, from prison, nor has any plans on, on taking over the, the crime family when he comes out in his, right now his outdate is 2032. My sources are saying the opposite <laughs> that uh, he has been advising and counseling uh, these Cicero guys almost from jump since he, he went in there uh, 15 years ago and that it's, it's even become more uh, prevalent in terms of this advisory role uh, since uh, Jimmy Inandino died last year. And these new Cicero guys, it's like they were on deck and now it's kind of their time to take over the family. Uh, we know that there were some court filings a couple of years ago related to the Cicero crew where Sarno was named as someone that was receiving a portion of gambling profits. And what I'm reporting now is something that's happened in the last couple of weeks is that he's now having to, or I don't, I shouldn't say now he is, he, this is could have been a role he's been playing all along, but I know there has been some minor internal dustups within Cicero, uh, some different factions, setting up other factions to be uh, robbed and beaten or whatever. And um, I'm told that just in the last week or two, Sarno had to get all these guys kind of on a phone call and uh, he, he squashed the beef uh, from his prison prison phone. So uh, just something to keep an eye out uh, for. Mike Sarno seems to be back in play in a major way in the Chicago outfit right now. Uh, Sally D and Albie are, are still running the show. Rudy Fratto. Um, and then some of the younger guys uh, over on the uh, south side, uh, Nikki Ferriola, little Frankie Caruso, are kind of being groomed by the uh, Tootsie Babe and his guys. That's kind of the south side younger group. And then you got a, a Cicero and a Elmwood Park younger group. Um, so, you know, I would say that reports of the outfit's demise or predictions that um, – they they don't exist anymore. They don't wield power anymore. The there's only 
10 members. Uh, that's just false. The, the, the There's a, a, a lot of new blood in this organization and, and a lot of uh, positive momentum towards the future. Now, I will say, just this is my analysis, these guys that Sarno was brought in that are loyal to him, these, let's say, just roughly two dozen guys, uh, maybe more, I would say that they tend to be more gangbanger types than buttoned up wise guy types, or maybe a hybrid of the two. Um, you got guys that are earners, kind of white collar guys, but then you got a lot of street guys that come from more of a street gang background, 12th street players, uh, Cicero feeder club. Uh, and a lot of these guys just are, um, I would say more gangster than racketeer. So we'll keep an eye on it for it, but uh, I'm being told Mike Sarno is settling beef from prison with the Cicero crew in the winter of 2024. Uh, OG Pod, Scott Bernstein out. 